everyone welcome back to my channel and welcome back to week two of seek gather and create uh, winter 2024 and this week we are um, asked you to find a face stripes something teal and a wing or wings so i found an old sweetie bag for my stripes a face from a magazine um, i pulled out my favorite teal woody and i also i found this with the dove i might use for the wings i also pulled out this tissue paper as you can see this is the new release from one of our sponsors art stacks their tissue paper backgrounds uh, which are out now and so i thought i'd pull those out as well they might come in handy i have absolutely no plan so i've just gathered my things and we're going to see what happens really um let's get started i think i'm going to use the sweetie bag as a base i'm gonna grab my gesso and just add a little bit of um a base to work on don't want to hide the stripes but um i want something that i can work on top of so just a little bit of gesso down on that thinly so you can see the stripes are still coming through now if you're not aware of what the seat gather create challenge is it's something that i run over on instagram with laura tina and mel and we do it twice a year uh winter and summer and over february this time every sunday we put up the prompts the four things to to seek and gather and then you can create anything that you like with them if you do fancy joining in you can post your creations using the, the hashtags seek gather create and seek gather create 2024 so that we can take a look and you have a chance to win a few prizes each week from our sponsors who are art stacks um stencil girl and paper artsy so let me just give that a quick dry and i'll come back to you okay that just so is dry that's going to act as my substrate to work on to create something who knows what do i want to add my face first do i want to add some wings maybe let's do that let's add some tissue paper down i think i'm going to go for the dragonflies over the butterflies so take a piece of that and let's grab some matte medium I'm nearly out of this pot but I've got just about enough and ooh, it's a bit gunky but it will do and pop that down <clears throat> over the top I put a layer over the top just to seal it down so that the stripes still come through from the background I hope you're all doing well it's half term this week uh, over here which means the kids are off so i haven't got a huge amount of time to create i don't want to leave them sat around all day doing nothing so um i'm working pretty quickly there we go let me dry that okay that's dry i'm gonna get a little bit of coffee i think start adding a little bit more color other than the pink just reactivate the coffee with my water spray here yeah yesterday I took the day off with the kids and um, we went and painted pots which I haven't done for years so that was really good fun just fun to do something creative with them we've got that we had some scribbles with our teal this is water soluble the woodies so I can then take my my brush and kind of blend that in a little bit here and there just making it a little bit more grungy I'll give that a dry okay so that's dry I'm gonna give it a bit of a scrunch 
Oh, it's got blue on the back of that, I just hadn't realised. Just add a little bit more texture to that. Okay, now let's do look at our face. I quite liked this girl I pulled out from a magazine because she was quite colourful. I don't I normally go with black and white images, so this is a bit different for me. But I liked her, so we'll we'll go with that. Just gonna cut her out and see how she sits on the page. Maybe that corner. So I quite like that grungy corner there. Okay, I'm going to stick her down and then I'm going to paint over the top of her, I think. That's my initial thought, anyway. But I have to say, with the with the Seek, Gather and Create uh, challenges, I like to do them with you. Uh, I don't like to have a plan because I just want to be able to see what happens. <laughs> Sometimes it works out and sometimes it doesn't, but it's fun to just gather the items and see where they take you. Okay, I'm going to grab my clear gesso, if I can find it. Uh, where are you? There we go, clear gesso. And I'm going to put a coat of that over the top of her. It gives it a little bit of grain so that I can paint over the top of her. means I can still see clearly everything through there. Okay, there's a nice finished coat. I'll give her a dry and I'll be back. Okay, I've dried her and I've just put on my Temper, uh, ta get my words out, palette here. Um, some white, pink, yellow, Payne's grey, and a brown. And I'm going to attempt to just make myself up a, a skin tone. So I'm just going to take a little bit of yellow, a tiny bit of pink, a good dollop of white. That's looking good. A tiny bit of brown. I think a little bit more pink. Okay, that's looking good. So what I'm going to do is paint her face. And this is quite light, so I'm just going to go over the, the lighter areas. And it just means it's a bit of a cheat. I can make a look once we're done. Like... <clears throat> I've painted a face, which I could do, but uh, it takes a lot longer. So I'm just going to do this little cheat. I, I might need a thinner brush, actually. She's quite small. <clears throat> I'm going to need a little bit more pink for her cheeks. So just put a little bit more pink in it there. Just blend that together. I know it's not perfectly the right colour, but um, it'll work. Let's do a little bit more brown in it. To get this sort of shadows. I'm gonna try and avoid her eye makeup and just kind of leave her as leave it as it is. Let's do 
bit of brown and a little bit of Payne's Grey for the shadow, the deepest shadow here. Need a little bit more water on my brush, I think. I keep going. Let's have just some brown, straight brown underneath. You can see it's starting to come together. It's starting to look more painty. <clears throat> I might just do her hair. Uh, we'll just go for Payne's Grey or maybe Payne's Grey mixed in with a a bit, bit of brown but with more Payne's Grey and just do a hair this dark colour trying to, because I had to chop off a little bit of a head I'm going to see if I can extend it a little bit That's working. Oops. So I can spend a little bit more time with my kids while I can this week. Um, although my youngest is off at a friend's house today. And my eldest is not not yet out of bed. <laughs> okay. Next, I think I'll do a little bit more pink on her lips. So you've got the colours and that are already there. You can kind of work with them. Let's put pink, a bit more pink on her clothes. She's got this really colourful top. Might extend that out over here just a little. Doesn't need to be perfect. <clears throat> Bit of yellow. I'll put a little bit of yellow, a little bit more yellow underneath her eyes, like that, to ex exaggerate the crazy eye makeup. Yeah. And then bring some colour. Let's switch to a bigger brush now. Bring some colour. I like that yellow. Oops, don't want to get it in her hair. Bring that out the outside a little. Bit of white. Just to make her pop a little. Just don't want to lose all my dragonflies <laughs> underneath there. But I'm starting to really like that, I think. What do you reckon? I might. Oops, I might just um, dry her and then see if she needs anything else. I'm just going to do another quick little flick of coffee and then we'll give it a dry. That's what she's looking like. I'm liking that a lot. I think I'm just going to add in some more teal 
on her clothing to bring in a bit more of that colour which was on our list. Yep. Put a little tiny bit dot on her eyes maybe. Yeah. Do I want to go in with a white pen and put in any highlights? Let's see. I can't remember which is the white pen that's working. I think it's this one. Just a little. We'll bring the whites of eyes back a little here and there. I can put maybe a little speck of white in her hair just as a little highlight. Just <clears throat> grab my brush. I'm not liking that one so let's just take that one back out. But yeah, like that. Okay, so we've got everything, all of our different uh, items. I'm just going to grab myself, let's see, a bag of scrap fabrics and take out a few pieces. So that's kind of tealy, isn't it? That's kind of tealy. So we'll go with that. Um, maybe some more neutrally colour, uh, like that. And we'll roll. Just add another little pop of colour on the side somewhere. I'm liking the stripes. Don't want as much of the blue, I think. Okay. Let's just use my stapler, which I have fixed since last week. <laughs> I quite like the addition of staples in, in it. It gives a different texture. So it doesn't bother me that they are, they're on the, um, yeah, they don't bother me that there's, that there's staples on it. You could stitch or glue. I think I need another one just at the top there. Running it through on the sewing machine might be quite nice. That is something I haven't fixed. That's still uh, still out of order at the moment, which is annoying. Come on. Lost my green. Don't lose the green. Tealy green. But I want that blue in. Yes, 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 yes. I like that. And I think I just want some words for her. I'll find that and I'll be back. All right, I'm back. I found some words from an old book and they say, if I can get it in focus for you, Come on camera. Why won't it focus today? <laughs> Come on. Well, it's struggle while I struggle to get the camera to focus. Why won't you focus? Anyway, we'll focus down here. The words say she arrived with a reverberating crash. So yeah, I'm going to give up on trying to get that to focus, but hopefully you can see it clear enough. There it is. I'm going to leave that there for my week two of the Seek Gather Create Challenge. I'll put all the details down about the challenge uh, in the description below and I hope you'll join me. I'll see you next week. Take care. Bye.